This section has some great step-by-step -step problems for composite volumes. Go to the menu at the top. Concept 4, finding the volume of a composite figure, will walk your students through each step of finding the volume of a composite figure. Let's go ahead and click on that. And the first bit we're going to see here is the explanation piece. To work through the explanation, drag down and you'll see each step of the process. First we're finding the base area of the cylinder, then we're looking at the cube and the height of the cylinder can be calculated. Now we have the volume of the cube and the volume of the cylinder and we'll add everything together to get the volume of the composite figure and you can scroll back up to see what we started with here. That's the explanation. Here's an opportunity for students to work. We have a periscope. This activity is going to guide students through step by step finding each component of the composite figure. They're going to start by getting the height of the cylinders, then the volume of the two cylinders, and then they'll find the volume of the prisms. The two triangular prisms form a cube. What's the volume of that cube? And then finally, they're going to add everything together. To celebrate your success, you can watch a video with Professor Berger and do a little bit of reflection. Also, back at the top, click on your turn if you'd like some more guided practice to work with your students. Each question has an example set of work. It has step-by-step -step guidance, and of course you can see the standards that you're teaching.